Hey guys, so Tony here from Team Divine Pro. Uh, today, just like I said in the previous video, I will be doing a little um, kind of like episode one on how to be better at card uh, wage wars. So, um, well, I'll take the example I did in the last video about uh, canceling and everything. So, say for example, you have a field that is comprised of, uh, let's see, maybe like this. Like this. Uh, let's just take these two because I usually do have these. And oh no, wait! You can't use that one. I gotta use something else. I gotta find it. There you go. So, what your goal? And uh, let's say that you have about I don't know two cards left in your deck, and you have a bunch of and you have like a bunch of stock. Like yeah, maybe like that. And you have this is your waiting room. And you've already sorted out that the fact that you have exactly you've already gone through four of your climaxes. You've had one, you have one in your hand, and that these are the top cards. Like uh, you have you do not so you you know where uh, about five of them are, but you do not know where three of them are. And now last check last time you checked a. Uh, retrieve so that would be up here now a good player would probably if possible would try to get that as quickly as as possible because you want to be able to refresh near the end game of the game as many climaxes back into the deck so that you have the more chances of canceling so for this example say you've attacked with this one and you've triggered that then you can use her ability to pay one stock which would get put send this here into the waiting room so you can refresh it to put something so that would be plusing in two ways because you'd give, be giving power to something and on top of that you'd be sending this card into the waiting room so that you could have better chances of canceling now if they get clogged it's not my fault or anything but that would be the most preferable and the most optimal play to do now if you don't have something like this perhaps waiting one turn and uh perhaps waiting one tur next turn and if you remember if you've attacked perhaps with all three and then they've been all win wi been wiped out if next turn you have a, an optimal hand or anything you can probably play two and then another one so you can get rid of those three that you've checked and then they'll eventually send this card away so you want to try to get send your climaxes as quickly as possible from your stock to the waiting room although I would not suggest doing this to kill just to send them for the sake of sending them but make sure that you have enough stock to do your plays as well now the second fact is that um, people that have like say you have only two cards left in your deck and you know that you have like like I said the same example you have you know where well this time you know where uh, six are and you don't know where two are you so you can't and you can't remember which one's in stock or not well actually you do you know that they're t the two of them are in stock they're in stock somewhere so the best optimal play would be, sorry, would be to get rid of these two cards so you can refresh as quickly as possible. And like, unless if you're about to die and you're about, you have to send this top card to the deck, it'd be more suitable to just get rid of these two, those four cards, and then go refresh, send the top, and then get more chances of climaxing your turn and the rest of the game, because this will speed up the deck and give you more ch chances to climax. So. What I'm getting to is that you should use cards like um, cards that just drop cards. So like him, it's uh, I can't remember. I think it's rest him, and then you check the top four for any climaxes. And obviously you know that you don't, but this way you get to send them all back, and then you get to refresh this deck along with the climaxes. And then you just have it, and then you have at least a stack of climb of climaxes somewhere along in the deck that have been shuffled, hopefully throughout the deck so you have chances of climaxing them and then when you're about to die say for example you go like that that's not a great example like that and then that you get to climax and you'll survive possibly so that that's just optimizing your chances to, to live but if you really can't do that then the best suggestion to do would just be to clock and then start drawing into the cards because you know you don't want to you don't want to like check like say if your opponent attacks you for four and you like in that example you had four cards and you know that they're not going to be climaxes at all, it just sucks because you could die just because of that.
Anyways, guys, uh, I hope this was a little bit informative. I don't know if how clear I was on these rules, but I do hope you guys will stick around for the next few segments of this because I am thinking of just continuing the little segment of improving your game. Anyways, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next video.